Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I finally have an updated planning video for you guys. It's been well over a year and today I also am going to show you a really easy method for making your own planner. I just personally like to always customize my planners. I find that when they're customized I'm just more likely to use them and I'm more excited to use them. So since the last time I filmed a planning video I have completely changed my method and I now use something called the bullet journaling method. The reason I really enjoy it is because it's really non-pressure. So if you miss a day or if you miss a week or even if you miss a month it's not going to mess up the planner I found that when I used to do daily planning if I would start to miss days or weeks then I would get discouraged and I would just stop using the planner altogether so with this method there's just no pressure you can use it as often as you want or as infrequently as you want I'm also really excited to be working with graphic stock on this video they are a royalty free images website and I'm going to be using some of their images in creating my own custom planner so with all of that said let's go ahead and jump into it so first I'm going to show you you how I made my planner all you need to start out with is any plain notebook this one is from the dollar store so I wanted to customize the cover to do this I wanted to find some really nice images so for this I'm using graphic stock they have over 300,000 high resolution images the reason this website is awesome is because typically if you're finding images on Google search they tend to be low resolution or if they're high resolution they have a watermark on them so most royalty free images websites they make you pay per image which can cost up to $30 an image and get really expensive with graphic stock they give you unlimited downloads for a full year for $99 so it's an amazing deal if you want to try them out I'll have a link down below where you can get a seven-day free trial once I settled on my favorite image I designed the cover using PicMonkey. I just set up the project to be the size of my notebook and I put the photo selected and customized it with my name and also the year I also decided to make some stickers and for this I used PowerPoint because I just find it's a little easier to work with. So I have stickers to represent the days I film, the days I edit, and the days I shop for videos. So all you need to do is just get your images and size them to the size that you want and then copy and paste them into rows like so. So once you're done with your designs, another really awesome thing about using royalty free images in particular is that you can even sell your designs on Etsy and make some extra money. So you can make stickers, cover designs, whatever you want and sell them. I'm actually thinking about opening up my own Etsy shop. So I highly recommend you check out Graphic Stock. Again, I will have a link for a free trial down below. So from here, I print them out on sticker paper and then cut everything to size. With the cover, I put it on the notebook and then on top, I applied clear contact paper just to protect it. And for the stickers, I cut them out using a paper cutter just to make it faster. So now I'm going to show you in detail how I set up my planner using the bullet journal method, which I've slightly modified. I start by numbering the pages in the bottom corner. You can number them wherever you want. And then I set up my title pages. So the first page is the index and you use this like a table of contents just to easily reference where everything is. Now you can just hand write the titles on the tops of all the pages, but since I have bad handwriting, I decided to make my own stickers for this just using the exact method that I showed you. So after the index, I put the month pages. So on the left, I write out June and then below that the remaining days of the month and then next to that the days of the week this is a space where you can note appointments or events going on so on the right hand side of the page is just the running to do list for that given month and I use the same setup for the next several upcoming months so after the month pages are what are called collections so these are basically running lists of things that you want to remember but they don't have a specific timetable here are my different collections I have things that need to get done around the house both general and decor related I have my YouTube to-do list and my upcoming video schedule which I'm not gonna show you because that's a surprise also I keep a running list of video ideas and I break them up into different categories I have a running list of things I want to buy things that I want to read or listen to on either audiobook or podcast movies and TV shows to watch and then a running list of my favorite meals that I can refer to when I need some inspiration I leave a bunch of extra space here to add new collections as they come up and then I go back to the index page and I reference the page number for each collection in the index so that's the first part of the planner the second part of the planner is what's called the daily logs and I use a divider to mark out where this section starts so this is where you could do your daily planning as often or as infrequently as you want you just write down the date to start and then any tasks you need to do are marked with a little dot events are marked with a circle general notes and just things to remember are marked with a dash things that need to be researched are marked with an up and down arrow 
new ideas or inspiration are marked with an exclamation mark. And any items in your list that are a priority, you can mark them with a star. So when something is complete, I highlight it in yellow. If it needs to be moved, I highlight it in pink. And if it's been scheduled for a later time, I highlight it in blue. I personally like to use a color system because I'm a visual person, but using the real bullet journal method, this would be the markers that you would use. And here is the full key of everything I just mentioned. So that is the gist of the system. It works perfectly for my lifestyle just because it's so simple and flexible. All right, guys, so that is my current planning method and also how I made my own custom planner. If you guys did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in planning and organization in general, definitely subscribe to my channel. I do these types of videos all the time. Also, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite method of planning or what is your favorite planner that you use? For many years, I used an Erin Condren planner and then I used the Midori style, as you saw from last year's video. But now I'm really liking this method, so I'm really curious to hear from you guys. What is your preferred method? Also, don't forget to go check out Graphic Stock for a seven day free trial of their website. It is awesome. They have the best quality images. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Babe, I made you something. Oh, what'd you make me? I made you your own custom planner. You did? Let me check this bad boy out. Wow. Yeah, I thought like you can use it for work meetings and stuff. I know a lot of your coworkers are always asking what your wife looks like, so now here I am. Yeah, you're certainly staring at me, aren't you? Yeah, it's like I'm there with you at work all the time. Wow. You're going to use it every day? I, I sure will.